Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, and I'm Divi Morali with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. November was National Writing Month and was composed of student writers in the Writers Guild. The Writers Guild is pairing with the library during November for National Novel Writing Month, which is an initiative by NaNoWriMo um, to get people to tell their story. For November, the goal is to write 50,000 words. Now, we don't all have that same goal. Um, a couple of people in the club, it's their first time. It's, uh, it's their first time ever doing NaNoWriMo. Some people have done this every year since their freshman year. When we first met on November 1st, um, some kids had no plot ideas, no idea of what their characters were gonna do or anything like that. And then some people had a whole like arc of the um, novel and said, what do y'all think? So we're all coming from different points, but the point is that we're all writing together. I've learned a lot about um, the value of having other people read your writing. Um, it's kind of the part that I look forward to the least. Sometimes when people criticize your work, it feels almost kind of personal and you have to remember that it's not and that this is something that needs improvement just like any other thing that you do. So I would say that even though that's one of the things that I like least, it's also one of the most beneficial parts of um, being in a writing club with other people to tell you from an outsider perspective what you should um, consider changing. Swimming had one of its biggest meets of the year Tuesday night. WTV's Maddie Owens has the recap. Taking part in its last dual double meet of the year, the team took on two of the strongest programs in the area at the Eubanks Natatorium, Frisco High and Highland Park. With the district meet in January, Tuesday's meet served as a benchmark for the Red Hawks as they could gauge their performances against some of the top swimmers in the area. And for some swimmers, it was more than a successful meet, as both the boys' 200-yard medley relay and freestyle relay finished first with the girls' 400-yard freestyle finishing second. Individually, there were several standout performances with sophomore Abby Showalter taking first in the girls' 100 backstroke. The swim team is back in action December 9th in the North Texas 5A Tisca Invitational at the Eubanks Natatorium. Reporting for WTV, this is Maddie Owens. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Soccer scars are now available for $15 in two styles. See Coach Kaiser in room C112 for more details. Tonight is Baseball Spirit Night at Durkin's Pizza. Students will not be able to park in the teacher's parking lot by the tennis courts anymore until after 2.30 p.m. The entire east side of the school is open for parking. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Divya Morali for Wingspan TV.